this will be an additional bonus video of our 1956 Jaguar Mark 7 M. We will focus on the undercarriage and the documentation in this bonus video. And I know that seems like an odd combination of things to pair in a video, but it's additional because after shooting the undercarriage, uh, pictures just don't do it justice. So I thought we would add this video to both show the undercarriage, walk folks through, uh, so you have an idea of what kind of condition we are talking about, that it isn't just pretty up top um, and crusty underneath, it is absolutely magnificent. And the reason that the documentation portion is being added is because the staggering amount of documentation, which I mentioned in the introductory video, I think uh, merited it. So there is the crate that I mentioned. It was not an exaggeration. So we will get into that in the second half of the video. So let us go ahead and get started and we will come from the back. So we are on the lift, obviously, here at Just Jags Restoration Shop in St. Louis. And this is the rear fuel tank trunk area. And this is the spare well. I am showing you this in particular because up top there was a picture when I removed the spare of a little bit of surface oxidation where the tire sits and rubs when the car drives. This is the exact bottom of that, so you are seeing that there is absolutely nothing here. So looking at the trailing arms, the um, leaf springs, the shocks, here's the differential. Everything is really beyond clean. It's in superb condition. So we will go ahead and take in some of the items of note, particularly the fuel pumps, as you can see. And again, more of the condition of the body. So calling it rust-free, I don't think does it justice. Uh, it is absolutely superb. So here is a muffler, presumably a replacement. It was done as part of the restoration and it still has two stickers on it so you can see the nicely lubricated u-joints on the drive shaft here is the differential or the pumpkin as it is called that was done up some years ago but it is extremely clean so see the brown color there there's some burgundy in it as well i cannot tell which was the original so here are cohen shocks going forward you can see the frame is absolutely spectacular solid a lot of new bits, filters, a lot of the hardware is still shiny from when that was done. Pretty much everywhere. Really the only thing back here that really has any kind of wear on it is some of these exhaust components. But other than that, really, um, it's in fantastic condition. So we do have some wetness on some of the, um, a couple of the pans. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. I would say on the light side because it is in fact a Jaguar. Um, but we 
left it overnight. It has been almost 24 hours here and there is nothing on the floor, nothing on the ground. The catch sheet that we put down, there's nothing here. So uh, nothing leaks. It's recently serviced PPI'd, as I mentioned in the last couple of videos at Lestable. So they went through everything and did a couple thousand dollars of squaring things away, fluids, and getting her road ready. So you can see when the tires were installed, the wheels were redone. So they are in the same beautiful shade of pastel blue. They're absolutely magnificent from the outside, from the inside. And the car is, is really an impressive car. So coming forward here, now to the front suspension. And above us is the exhaust. And as I mentioned, that is really the only thing that shows any kind of wear on it at all. And really it doesn't look bad. So from the headers up top, and you can see the shiny bolts that are on the connecting sections. There's the oil pan. Again, the car, I cannot stress enough that the car was not really prepped in any way, it was not detailed. This undercarriage was not touched in any way. So we literally just rolled her up and put her up for the pictures. And I thought it would be worth a look-see. But everywhere you look, solidity abounds. From the steering components, which I hopefully demonstrated in the drive video, are solid and straight. You can, again, look up into the fender section and see how absolutely dry everything is. So there's no question that this car is solid throughout. And again, frame sections, excuse me, the lift here, Any, everywhere you look, the car is solid. So we'll go to the front and work our way back. So you get sort of the reverse tour. So here we are up top. There is the magnificent grill and lights. So the tires, they have 2017 date codes on them, but I don't believe the car has gone 100 miles uh, over the last 10 years. So it's, it's history, it's ownership, I mentioned. Um, so it has been here at Just Jags and getting just exercised from time to time to keep it going. It really hasn't seen a lot of road use. Probably our video tour is the most driving it's seen probably since 2012. So as we go back, it looks just as nice going back as it does going forward. Park brake cables, really everything jacking points. Everything is super solid. Well, again, another glance up at the body and all you're seeing is really the reflection of the red ramps on the lift. It's on the sunny side today, right by the door. So rock solid. all the way through. Go back to that trans. So we've got some very visible stampings on there. See Jag, the U-joint.
So we will come back out from under the lift and then we will go to the second segment of the video, which is the documentation. So I've got a smattering laid out on the table and it is a little bit of everything. We've got archive certificates, we've got original booklets, service parts manuals uh, from a time that the car was shown for our owner from Just Jags. We've got pictures of the interior restoration. We have just some of the most recent servicing history, and by that I mean going back to roughly 2010 just in this one file. So if you got a car that just had this amount of documentation, I'd say you're doing pretty well, really well. Now back to the historical portion of it. This is the truly staggering part. This is absolutely amazing. I have never seen a car documented to this level. We have correspondence from the original owner. Uh, the car was purchased new in February, February 21st to be exact, of 1957 to an owner in New York, an attorney. I know that because there is letterhead in here, there's documentation, there's a lot of correspondence between him and Jaguar cars for various issues. Here's an album of the restoration of the car. I mean, there is all kinds of amazing, amazing stuff here. The letters have all been carefully taken care of. They've been put into plastic. They're all dated. The envelopes are dated. It's just absolutely astounding. And if you are a documentation fan, you will be in seventh heaven. So there are Jaguar letters from 1957. We've got the registration of the car from 1957. It just boggles the mind. So this gentleman was extremely organized, meticulous. So as you can see, the folders are labeled everything from the original equipment, when he had the plating done during the restoration, the transmission stuff, brake lines. It's, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. So as far as I can tell, I mean, it would just take you hours and hours and hours to go through all of this. I've spent probably two and a half hours going through the most recent stuff in this. And as far as I can tell, the original owner had it until at least the year 2002. So there are other bits in here as well where it gets truly interesting is when you go back to the documentation from the 50s. And we have service records here from his servicing dealer. As you can see, and everything, every invoice is not only has the work done, but it has a paid stamp with the date that it was paid, that it was picked up. And this goes all the way back to March of 1957, literally a month after the car was purchased. And there you see it, March 21st, 1957. So the names, the dates, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. So there's a lot of extras in here along the way. He collected a lot of um, paraphernalia, cute signs. 
sales ads. So, and, and every manual has been reproduced. Uh, he, to preserve the, all of the original manuals, he had additional copies of items. This entire booklet here is just on Borg Warner transes and drive shafts in this binder. Additional historical factory booklets and everything is in amazingly preserved condition. A lot of pictures, a lot of docs. You could spend weeks just going through this treasure trove of documentation. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of the care and love that went into this magnificent Jaguar automobile. It is a 1956, it was bought in 1957. It is the much desirable M model. And I hope you have enjoyed this video.